Okay, moving on to lesson number nine. This lesson is considered by many to be the fun part of flight instruction. In this lesson, we'll cover what you need to know to actually teach your students the fine art of taxiing, takeoff, flight maneuvering, landings, and so forth. Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Dave Selaski, and again, this is lesson nine, flight instruction maneuvers. This lesson addresses what some instructors consider the exciting part of flight instruction, teaching your student how to fly. And believe me, it can get exciting. You have to stay on your toes. Also, as a flight instructor, you have to let your student actually take the controls and fly the airplane. And it's your responsibility to recover from any student-induced unusual flight situations and do so safely. Okay, this lesson covers the following topics. Taxiing, takeoffs, turns, turbulence including wind, approaches and landings, rectangular course, turns around a point, S-turns, eights on pylons, stalls and slow flight, steep turns, shondells, lazy eights, and flight using instruments. As you can see, this is all the standard stuff you've learned so far during your flying career. Only now, you have to teach it. Okay, let's begin with taxing. When taxing a tricycle gear airplane with a strong quartering tailwind, make sure you keep the elevator in the neutral position and the upwind aileron in the down position. Now, for that same tricycle gear airplane with a strong quartering headwind, here's what you do. Keep the elevator down and keep this upwind or into the wind aileron now in the up position. Suppose you're flying a tailwheel type or tail dragger airplane. When experiencing a strong quartering tailwind, the elevator should be held in the down position. This keeps the tail down and keep it from lifting up off the ground. And the aileron from the side in which the wind is blowing should be held in the down position. So the air flowing over it will force that wing down. Now when the tailwheel type airplane is being taxied into a strong quartering headwind, the elevator is now in the up position, which pushes the tail down onto the ground. And the upwind aileron should be up. Before starting the pre-takeoff check, the airplane should be positioned out of the way of other aircraft. It is recommended that the airplane be as nearly as possible headed into the wind to obtain a more accurate operating indication and to minimize engine overheating during runup. Time right now for an FAA test question. Which aileron position should you generally use when taxiing in a strong quartering headwinds? A neutral, B aileron up on the side from which the wind is blowing, or C aileron down on the side from which the wind is blowing? Your answer is B. Aileron up on the side from which the wind is blowing.